And good morning, as they say everywhere, I guess. What's this good time? morning. It's um, a happy Monday to you, Kelvin, there in, uh, in England. And we're going to talk today. I've, I've found a, a thing, you know, because we're always refreshing the routine. But today I'm going to stray a little bit from that path in the sense that I've got a link for the complete guide to landing page optimization. Everything from chapter one to chapter nine that you need to have for landing pages to work the best. It covers um, nine different things and I better get into that or we won't have enough time for today's show. The first chapter of these nine chapters, and as always, I'll have the link in the show notes which are gonna be on the the guy or cook report it look like that and you just go to this link where it says 2016-0926 the guy or cook report happy monday and that'll make it work so the show also look like this when you get through the the mix and you get to our wordpress powered blog and the first chapter of it is landing page fundamentals and it just addresses the things like why do you need more landing pages, uh, beginner's guide to landing pages. Maybe you don't have any. Uh, maybe you're one of the 44% of small businesses that are using their home page as their landing page. They'll say, hey, come look at my, whatchamacallit, and it'll take them to the home page. Good luck figuring that out because we, we don't want to have a landing page and make it easy. We want you to have to search for it. And that user experience usually ends up with them not ever coming back. They're going to go, well, I wanted to get a whatchamacallit. There was no link for it. I'm not going to go there again. In chapter two, it talks about how to find out exactly what your customers think of you. You ask them. Okay. Um, there's a section in here called the five best ways to get feedback from your customers. And... In the show notes for the Guy or Cook report, we've got an evaluation question where we simply ask the question, right? And huh. yeah, I could tell you what that is, but historically, I never tell them what the question is. Just there is one. So we have to continue our streak, right, Kelvin? Correct. So in chapter two, it goes into a number of things about identifying what your customer want, what their needs are. And once you find out what their question is, then you can possibly come up with the best answer. And chapter three is about writing copy. The, the best copy is the copy that converts really well. And with the landing page, you want to have a single focus call to action effort made on that landing page. Now you'll see one part of this note that says the seven point checklist for powerful landing page copy. Right, but everything that the landing page is about is about that conversion occurring. We don't want to have like a multiple choice. You want to do question A, question B, question C. No. Click here to download the white paper. Click here to sign up for the newsletter, etc. There's just one thing that they're going to do on that landing page. And so go along and we scroll up a little bit to get chapter four to fit is how to design a high converting landing page. The design is very important. This is why you want to do A-B testing to find out, well, if we have the call to action on the left, do we get more conversion than if it's on the right, etc. So to become a conversion-centered designer, uh, how to do that is identified there. There's a tips for designing niche landing pages. These are what best practices for each niche that's being used. Maybe your website is about gardening. And what's the best gardening landing page? Like to get the gardening newsletter, sign up here. Those types of things, how to design that landing page to be high converting is covered in chapter four. And the next one, chapter five, is getting your landing page in front of the right people. So you've got a high converting set of copy. 
you've designed it to be your niche market but if nobody sees it well you're going to end up with a podcast like kelvin and i right you don't right. want to do that you have to have a landing page that's well done but then you want to get it in front of the the most number of people the right people and the right people of course are the buyers um, if you're talking about gardening and everybody there is an auto mechanic, you're probably not going to get very many conversions. This chapter talks about 168 case studies on generating traffic. There's only needed to be one that works for you out of that 168. So give that a go. Get your landing page in front of the right people with a visit to chapter five, I think is what you want to do. I would, I would think so anyway. Or, or you wouldn't still be here if we've gone through this many chapters. Okay. Number six talks about increasing your conversions with A-B testing. And I talked about that a minute ago. And it's got a link in there for the complete guide to A-B testing. The 71 things to A-B test. There's a lot of things that you can test in A-B testing that you might not think of right now because you've never done it perhaps. And then it also identifies in here how to generate better A-B test ideas than the ones you have right now. Maybe you have right now are going, well, what's the best color? You know, it might be more the headline than the color. If the headline doesn't work, it doesn't matter what color it is. It's just not working. So in terms of color, get that done. And if you've got a photograph, we know who to ask, right? Anything photography, yes, Kelvin. Additional resources that will help you, excuse the phrase, I didn't write this, kick butt. These resources have to do with automation. Maybe it's an email or autoresponder that's got, you know, step one, step two, step three, step four, like the seven steps to better email marketing subscribe now and the first subscription you get the first letter in that email chain and then in the process you'll get a total of of seven like the user expectation is because that's what they said they're going to give you and user expectation like i've said a zillion times very very important chapter nine um, it talks about tools that will make your life easier landing page optimization is going to give you a a whole bunch of new tools in the toolbox that you maybe not used before now because it's a separate unique instance of how things are done one of the things that's not mentioned here is they've got analytics landing page tools user feedback a b testing one of the things i don't see in this is when you make an automated email responder what's the best email distribution system and I'll tell you right now it's MailChimp without a doubt I, I'll go on record as that easy to use the first 2,000 users are free what more could you want now this entire set of things that I've just slam dunked through you can download the free PDF version go to the show notes click that link it'll take you to a page give them your email address of course and you can download the whole thing to have a convenient PDF for when you're doing your a b testing it'll look just like this download the pdf and there you have it landing page optimization chapters one through nine and on that note i then go to the shameless plug for the folks that got us all together months and months ago there was a group that now has a logo that has a facebook group and their logo looks like this friends just chatting is their name the quarterback in that huddle, excuse the expression, but I'm still pumped up from the Seattle Seahawks win yesterday. They whooped San Francisco. They will again. Oh, yeah. They did very well. And so now we're, I think, two and one on this season. So anyway, friends just chatting. It's a group on Facebook. Go there and look at that graphic and join that group, and then you'll – be a part of that community that online community meets every weekday morning and talks about everything you can imagine today we talked about how to heat homes in brazil you use your oven 
There's no, there's no furnaces in Brazil. As a rule, you might have a radiant heater built into the wall. That would be an exception to the rule. Most people don't have them. So again, we'll, uh, we'll say go to the guyercookreport.podbean.com. It'll look like this when you get there. And it'll say today's date. You click on this link right here like this. And then, Bazinga, you'll be at the show notes like we started off the show today. I invite you to check out our free email newsletter with this link over here on the right. You can add your email address in there. You'll automatically be subscribed. All the blog categories are there. Besides just the Geyer Cook Report, we've got a number of categories, as you can see. The link to become a patron of the Podbean podcast, the one that you're listening to or watching right now on YouTube, that link is right there. And I invite you to, to be a a patron, if you would. She doesn't grow on trees. It's little, little tiny bushes, actually. Anyway, you have a good good week. Um, I hope this Monday episode of the Guy Cook Report didn't get too long. We kept your attention. And as always, the show notes, like I'm showing right there, we've got the thank yous for Fraser Ramsey at Edward Dusters, the company that likes to clean. Got this whole ball of wax going, rolling down the road. It's Eileen Smith from basic blog tips. Thank you for Screencast-O-Matic. That's why we're in high definition. If you're watching this on the YouTube, give us a subscription or at least a thumbs up. That'll matter to somebody someplace. And like I said before, go to that Friends Just Chatting uh, Facebook group. And so on that note, I think it's time to ask that question. Have I forgotten anything? Oh, that's that's not good. I better stop the screen sharing. There, that's better. That's better. I don't think I've forgotten anything today. Not to I that. Think, You've done very well. I think that just, you know, I'm, I'm starting to get the hang of it. Um, thanks to everyone in the chat that came in to watch us today. And we'll be here again always, tomorrow, same time, same place, same but, channel. But tomorrow it's going to be SEO tips. Tomorrow will rock your world. Every day, a different topic at least once a week. Okay, on that note, I'll say it's a wrap.